Said, keep dodging. Yep, <laughs> hopefully we can keep dodging. That being said, this line of storms is beginning to strengthen a little bit as it moves a little closer to Marshall and Jefferson. That's right along the Highway 59 corridor. That's Marshall to Jefferson with some he very heavy rainfall. Now we've had reports out of Longview that we do have a tree on a house. And again, that is from the National Weather Service chat session. But this backward sea that continues to move through Harrison, Marion and Cass County, that is problematic because that's an indication of very strong winds. We'll go ahead and look at the uh, velocity of these wind speeds. And as you can see, some very uh, bright green showing up on the screen there uh, to the west of Highway 59 and to the northwest of Marshall. And if we look at this, we continue to see some uh, intense wind speeds. That doesn't show it very well, but let's go ahead and pop up a uh, different tilt on the velocity. And there you go, 55 mile per hour winds uh, to the northwest of Marshall there and to the west of US Highway 59. That's one warning we are tracking and we can put a storm track on that real fast and then I want to get to what's happening in Houston and Cherokee County at this point because that's the other in intense segment of showers and thunderstorms that continues to move off to the east. So we'll go ahead and track this um, off to the east at about 50 miles per hour. Let's get another storm track on there and here we go folks. So east at 50. This is going to be arriving in Marshall and Jefferson here in the not too distant future, probably within the next five minutes. It's 1016. Now you can expect those intense winds in Jefferson and Marshall at 1019, which by the way in Jefferson, that was another area that did have some uh, ground truth to a tornado that passed through earlier today. Fairly intense storms moving through Houston and Cherokee County at this point. We'll track those off to the east, and this is moving in the direction of Alto and Wells here. We'll be arriving within the next few minutes, but 50 mile per hour to the north and to the east. And as you can see, Wells at about 1032, Cushing and Nacogdoches County at 1035. That's a little longer than what Jefferson and Marshall have, but still within the next 20 or so minutes for both of those communities. Nacogdoches at 1044, rather, Lufkin at 11. 06 Garrison at 11:06 as well. Let's go ahead and pop up those temperatures uh, because it has been very much a warm evening, and that's part of the reason why these storms have been able to sustain themselves for so long into the night. Temperature-wise, in deep east Texas, we're still in the 70s, but anywhere where we're in the lower 60s, in the 50s, that is where the severe weather threat has come to an end, which is great news. And this was the area of significant wind earlier today, but we'll get you to future cast right now. This is 10 o'clock tonight or right now. We will continue to see these storms move off to the east. Now, once the line of storms moves through, we're still going to see a few showers behind that line, but these are not going to be severe in nature. They're just garden variety showers. That being said, we will still see some strong gusty winds behind this front, perhaps up to 20 to 30 miles per hour later this evening, and then we will start to see breaks in the clouds as we move into the afternoon. So here's a look at the timeline from about 10 to midnight. That is the storm timeline for areas in the red. That includes Trinity, Houston County, Southern Cherokee County pointing off to the east. And again, these storms will remain a problem through about midnight for you guys. But once they move into parts of Louisiana and Arkansas, our severe weather threat will have completely come to an end here in East Texas. Here are the next seven days. I don't have severe weather in the forecast. We will see plenty of sunshine though. Saturday and Sunday uh, we will hit 80 on Monday, lower 80s Tuesday with additional rain chances into the middle part of next week and deep east Texas. Similar deal. Plenty of sunshine Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Highs will be in the middle to upper 70s both Saturday and Sunday. 80s return Monday and Tuesday. Neil here. None of the right